Craig, it uh, seems like that you're having a hard time sitting down. Well, I was just making sure that this is the fag talk segment and not the Maddie in the morning still. <laughs> Either way it go. Don't get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> is this the fag talk segment? Uh, don't get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm going to bring it out some a little bit. Oh, yeah. I got you. Because I feel like I'm swollen. I, I do, too. I feel like I haven't sat back. Okay, no, that's too far back. No, we got to keep that black ring around it. <laughs> like some of them hoes tubs. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no, interestingly enough, like what you were saying towards the end of the, um, that last segment, I was saying something similar to that a few weeks ago about difficult conversations. And, and I, I really do think in order to bridge communities, whether you're talking about black and white people, trans and gay people or trans mm -hmm. and straight people or gay and straight people, mm -hmm. you have to have those difficult conversations. And sometimes a part of that is saying things that may be offensive, not intentionally, but just because you're trying to learn and trying to educate yourself. But I think sometimes we live in such a politically correct society that people avoid difficult conversations altogether because people are afraid of sounding ignorant. People are afraid of being canceled. People are afraid of offending. So, you know, people just don't have the conversations at all. So, I, okay. So let's talk about it. So we were we were on the bathroom conversation or whatever, and these things have just recently been happening uh, about the bathroom. And I li mm -hmm. listen here, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to know that when we do this show, we don't we talk about all things that are related to gay and straight. Mm -hmm. Because here's the gag: <laughs> somebody in your house is a fag, <laughs> and you just might be a fag. The other one, popular hot ass <laughs> gossiper. But there is somebody in your household. In your That's family. a figgy, figgy, figgy. That's a figgy, figgy, figgy. There is definitely a box of Toucan Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So let's talk about it. Now, Craig, we left off uh, the other day when we were online, and you were very adamant about, you said that you couldn't get your point across because I was so busy in another segment of the show. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that was what they, well, that, was, that was the feedback. Yeah, but you also, uh, you, you I also, concurred. You concurred. You uh -huh, did uh -huh. with that. And so here we are. Now, so, because because I think that this is an important conversation, and again, before we get into this, I know we get on here, we laugh, and we cut up, and we say a lot of in politically incorrect shit intentionally. Yeah. Um, just to kind of like soften. Like supermarket sweet. <laughs> and the AIDS. Yeah. But, uh, see? Oh well, that's God. an example. That's an example. Just say supermarket sweet, <laughs> Or like when you say die. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's the bull dagger. That's what it is. Okay, so... And again, just because we're a part of the queer community doesn't mean that we go along and get along, uh, go along and agree with everything that happens, right? So we saw this story where there's a person who identifies as trans. Wait, are we sure? Is, or is it two, there's two it's stories. two different stories. Yeah. yeah, so they're two different stories. So we're going to show you two different things. So the one you're leading in with is the one that identifies as trans. The one that identifies so as trans. We have to be clear right. on that. Okay. Right. So, Mo, the one where... The, or you can do the, it right oh, here. Okay, the need, wig. If you need the help. If you need oh, the help okay, yeah, right here. Because sometimes you okay. need a little help. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, this, so you can show all of those photos okay. of that person. Okay, so this person identifies as trans dresses in women's clothes, et cetera, et cetera. Now go down to the picture right below. Okay, but this lady right here, she's a biological woman, you can go to the next one too, okay. saw this trans person at a Planet Fitness and confronted the person because the person was in a women's restroom and so it was given very much, you're a man, you're in this restroom, why are you here? And then I want you to go to the video. This is a separate situation there's another woman who was in a, a Planet Fitness. I believe this was in New York. But play this video and then we'll come back. Good day. I just wanted to say I just came out of Planet Fitness. And um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom. I realize he wants to be a woman. He gets to be a woman. I love him in Christ. He's a spiritual being having a human experience. He doesn't like his gender. So he wants to be a woman. But I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. All right. I just thought I'd say it out loud. Now, this is the person that this lady was just speaking about. about. And there's a longer video, but we cropped it. But there's a longer video where that lady that you just saw says there was a little girl in the bathroom. And this person right here, I'm not going to say man, but this person right here was naked and 
the penis was visible. So I thought it was important because this is one of those conversations because it's like, okay, I understand people want to be respected as trans or non-binary or whatever gender or however they identify. But then what happens when you're in a public space like this and it's what? I don't want to cut you off, but I just got to go ahead. Go ahead. Can we put the picture back up there? Okay. This one, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Um. I'm 40. Let me let me start. Let me lead in with that. Okay. Uh huh. I'm 46 years old. I'll be 47 in October. The 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 <laughs> the goal behind transitioning in my day and my time was not to to give this. It was not to give this. This right. is this was not and walk around and say, "Well, I'm a I'm a transsexual." This was not this was not the goal. This was not the goal. Okay, mm -hmm. now take that down. All my trans girls is gonna come and try to dig me up with this. I'm ready. I understand that there is no specific way that a woman is supposed to look like there's no woman supposed to look like, but bitch presentation matters. matters. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now you step out here in the motherfucking world and, and tell, and tell somebody how you feel on the inside. That's fine. But if it ain't reflected nowhere on the outside, it ain't lining up. If it's not lining up to the society, to the society that we live in, that we share collectively, that we collectively share, and we know that there are social constructs on a woman should be look like this and a man should look like this. Yes, we are now shaking the table, and we are challenging the boundaries of what a woman should be, what a woman should. Be. We are, we are, we are in that era now. Mm -hmm. Well, this Gen Z girls are <laughs> shaking it like, well, a woman has all that. Right. And I respect all that. And so do I. But you got to stay home. But if the presentation <laughs> does not match the what the we ain't we we have we have not changed the public. We have not changed the public yet. Now can I shake it just a little bit more? Come on, Craig. Now, is this some shit that only white trans people do? Because I don't really be seeing like black trans pe trans people. <laughs> Can I get a refill? Yes. <laughs> yes. I now black people, we now black people, we got our shit, but that ain't it. Yeah, they're agreeing with you in the chat, Because see, and I'ma circle it back. Remember the trans girl? I think we were in the pandemic, maybe. Uh huh. What was the trans girl? Katie or something, and looked like uh, Danny DeVito, and was saying she was also trans. But I got run, they was ringing me up because they were saying that I was not. I, listen, I didn't invalidate or I didn't terrorize her for how she felt for how she felt but ma'am you look but, like danny devito but ma'am <laughs> <laughs> can i get a paper towel <laughs> i mean i was looking for rhea perlman <laughs> you know his wife <laughs> D danny is rhea <laughs> rhea somewhere in them <laughs> Listen, trans activists, please don't email me. I'm sorry, please. And don't email me with that shit. Please, please don't. Because I'm from a we we're both older and we're from a time and that we understand, we understand and we respect everyone's identity. I respect everyone's identity. I respect everyone's being. I respect that. But I also, in my conscious way of thinking, know 
that we still live in, in, in the world. Right. And when we go out there in the world, yes, we are challenging gender norms now. That's right. Yes, we are. We are challenging gender norms. However, we haven't broken down uh, the, the, the construct of it. We haven't right. knocked that wall in. Right. And so the way that society views what a woman should look like, even the ugliest of a woman, mm -hmm. definitely is not standing in some goddamn Burlington Coat Factory slacks <laughs> and a gym shirt and a towel like they had just got through lifting two barbells over there. In magic shave. With magic shave powder on your face. At least do that in your hole. Correct. At least do that in your hole. We are not in the space now where we have broken it down to the to the to the area where we can just walk in in the women's bathroom doing that. Right. right. Especially not during this political climate that we're in right Correct. now. Correct. Now because the first thing that they're going to say is they're a pervert. Now would this have been okay in the women's restroom? I mean, I would respect that more. If Miss Mary was in the restroom and this person walked I mean, in. While Miss Mary is in there changing. Craig, I know. Listen, if we, Craig, see, I'm just asking. You about to make me do this, and I don't want to do I'm just, it. I'm just asking. Go ahead and do it. If we let Miss, if Miss Netta, huh? can, if Miss Netta can go forth, I'm just back to this. If Miss Netta can walk through, and everyone is in a confused state about Miss Netta, we can allow this person. I'm sorry. But even Miss Netta is more convincing than this person. So I'm just saying, like. So you don't think Miss Netta and that person right there share the same type of womanhood? I'm saying if. <laughs> can we? <laughs> what? What, what, what happened? I need to see these photographs again. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. And the other one. And the other. This one. Yes. I mean, what I'm saying is, <laughs> Miss Netta be out of her kitten heels too, and she be in her dress. So, yes, I would see them both in the women's bathroom. Now, put that other person. Up. I was going to say something, but put that other person up there with her. No. The other one. Oh, this one? No. Which wait, which is the other? Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, this person. Sorry. I apologize. Now this now this is definitely a beat up version of Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> it's Liza with a Z. Oh God. Oh my God. It's Liza with a Z. <laughs> nothing S. Liza with a Z, nothing S. Because Liza with a Z Liza with a Z goes not S. <laughs> <laughs> it's Liza with a Z, not an S, because Liza with a Z goes not S. Oh. That's Larry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is Larry standing right there. And I don't know how else to look at that. I don't see the same when I look at this other person. I can I can I can honestly Okay, so the other person is dressed. And a kitten heel, a little sequence. It's, there's number. more presenting. It's more presenting. I wouldn't say presenting. Craig, that's that's a that's well, a stretch. Craig, stop it. No, no. What I'm Craig, saying is it. Madison. What Craig, I'm stop it. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying that this person hasn't begun their transition. I'm not saying that this person may not be using um, HRT. I'm not saying any of that. But what I'm saying is that looks like a person who's just in women's clothes, like a cross-dresser, as we used to call it back in the day. So if that person was still in the women's restroom, if my mother was in there, Gladys Christie would be like, um, who is this man in here with this, with this little uh, Dora the Explorer wig well, would, on? Would she do that for Miss Netta? But see, I think my mother would probably think Miss Netta was a miss. I would have thought Miss Netta was a miss, Netta was but a miss. a miss on that level. 
but I don't think. Where is the other? Did you delete that other picture, Mo? Because I don't see it. I don't Where's think. The other picture? I don't think any of our mothers would look at this this person with that Dora the Explorer on and think that that was a, a, a that woman. That one. This one. Oh, this one. No. Yes. That. Oh, this one. Yeah. This is Liza with the Z, not the S, because Liza with the Z goes nuts. <laughs> now, I could see Gladys tearing this one up in the bathroom. I think Gladys would tear that other one up, too. Miss Gladys would definitely turn this one up. For sure. Miss Gladys would tear this Ms. one Gladys up. Miss Gladys would peel this one's caps back. Period. <laughs> Miss Thing, what are you doing up here? Miss <laughs> Gladys would have hit that that girl right there. Yes, indeed. With one of those lines from motherfucking got there bringing down the house. Yes, indeed. What are you doing in here? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Bring it down, mm -hmm. Mo. Okay. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm definitely Miss Gladys would have hit. What are you doing in here? Whew. Well, here's the thing, trans women upcoming trans women we know that hrt and transitioning is very expensive we know we mm -hmm. the, all the all that live in me we know because this is my experience um we are living in a time now where every piece of literature every piece of of, of video, every piece of instance that 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 people can use to use it as a political ploy mm -hmm. against us, mm -hmm. we are just in critical times. And you identifying as a trans person walking into a bathroom, I just don't think that that person identifies as trans. I don't know. I, do we have more? Did that? Do we have a statement from that person? No. <clears throat> because it gives man in the bathroom nuts and dick out. Why do you as let me be let's be perfectly clear here. I am a trans woman. Mm -hmm. I used the women's bathroom. I'm trying to be in the stall. But ain't nobody gonna look at you. But Craig, here's the thing. That's the, that's true. I'm trying to be in the stall. Why are you trying to be undressing in front of other women? <laughs> at the vanity. At, at shit. Like, why are you trying to do this? This gives me vibes of not being a trans person because right. the trans people that I know and the trans people that identify as mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. are not trying to be undressed in front of no... Correct. Or maybe they might not understand women because, you know, in... In how social media perceives it, or in movies, it's where you look at it, you just see women when they're in the bathrooms, they're just free. And I maybe that's what may, maybe that's what he, that person is thinking. Also, I could just be free in the women's bathroom. And I but you have <laughs> nuts. <laughs> you have nuts and penis. <laughs> you have nuts. <laughs> And penis, and you're exposing your nuts mm. and your penis inside of a bathroom that consists of everyone else, and they're having vagina and breasts. You don't even have breasts. You have nuts and penis, and you're mm -hmm. in the bathroom with other women who don't. Why could you not be in a stall? Why could you not be in a in a store? You're not as free. You know, I don't give a fuck what you identify as. You know, when you're naked, you're different than those women in the room. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this. You know when you are naked. You are not going to be naked in the room with those women who don't have nuts. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. You just will not. So I just, you know, and I'm so tired of it. And as a trans person, mm -hmm. this stuff begins to get attached to uh, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's, it, and then they are, are they attach this to things like pedophilia. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And this is what these these uh, Republicans and, and, and politicians, period, will try to attach their campaigns to and say, you know, they, they have this trans agenda where they don't want they want to outlaw and ban trans people from the uh, military and et cetera, et cetera. It, it, working at schools or working with children because they want to try to group everybody as a pedophile. But someone said it in the comment section, he was a perv or they were a perv trying to pass as a trans person. And, and that's what and, and I do believe that. And, that, I, and I believe that happens too. Yeah, I, believe I believe some of these so. people don't even identify as trans. They're just trying to 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 pull one over. Exactly. Because you remember we did talk about the uh, the trans the alleged trans person that went to the women's prison and he started impregnating prisoners. Right. Yes. Stuff like that. So yeah, I totally, I could, I totally agree. With it's that. just, it, it, it just, it, it does, it doesn't do our cause. It does not any justice. any justice or any good. It does not. It and does again. Not. And, and, and let me just say this, I, 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 I want to go out on a limb and say this. I think that this is just an example, since we're talking about the trans issue, but it, it's, it, there's, a, there's an example of this in every community, whether you're talking about the black community, whether you're talking about gay men or whatever. But this is why I think it's important for trans people, trans men and women, to come together. Yes, it is important in terms of pronouns and all that. All of that is important, but it's really important for you all to come together and really look at the larger issues because they're really trying to phase you all out of yes, more important things. That is correct. And I think you all are arguing and debating about um, pronouns, and I'm not saying that it's not important. But while you all are down here arguing about that, they up here really removing your rights, and you're not paying attention to that because... You're down here fighting about these other things, these less important things. Yes, and that's why I think that women on all levels need Correct. to be, in, in, because once it affects one marginalized group, Correct. it affects all. Correct. Now, since we're still in the trans conversation, mm -hmm. yeah, are you done with your? Because I, I'm oh yeah, I'm done. You done with that? Yeah, yeah. I have to check in with you now. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you finish your thought with that? Yeah, I, I, I'm finished. She she love it. She love Mo, Mo. Delete all that shit. <laughs> delete that shit. Everybody, I just want you all to know that I share the feedback that you all gave, <laughs> <laughs> and and this is the result. It is, but we're being very respectful. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> you all said that she cuts me off, and I don't get a word in, and da, 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 da. so so she's really being mindful. Yes. Cause since you pin pals jumped up over here, I'm like, girl, don't come over here. With it that. wasn't just pin pals that said it. Now, I would, but Maddie Bob ain't gonna, Maddie Bob ain't, they ain't tapping me on my shoulder about that. They tap me. Okay. <laughs> they said, can you tap her and let her know that? <laughs> well, then they're truly pin pals. <laughs> <laughs> did we delete the stuff? Yes, we did. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs>